So this is a model of the small intestine. One thing you want to remember about this model is what you see on top here is actually deep. What you see on bottom is actually superficial. Because if you remember, if you think of a garden hose, okay, and that, that tube that runs through the garden hose, that opening of the tube is the lumen. So the lumen of our intestines is going to be running through this way. That's why this is the deepest layer, and this would be the most superficial layer. So if you look at this in terms of what layers we have, we have a mucosa, submucosa, muscularis, and then a serosa, serosa, adventitia, or visceral peritoneum. Okay? If we start at the deepest layer here in the mucosa, we have the villi. The villi are all lined with simple columnar epithelium. There would be tiny little microvilli all around them to help add surface area for absorption. Within each of these villi, in green, you'll see the lacteals. These lacteals are part of our lymphatic system, also very useful for absorbing fats. You'll also see in purple what is an extension of the blood supply that's coming from the submucosal layers. So this is actually our capillary beds for nutrient absorption. You'll also notice in this layer the intestinal glands, or the crypts of Lieberkuhn. As we move superficial one layer, again we have the, the vascular supply in the submucosa. We also have the muscularis layer superficial to that. Now again, keep in mind, as we move food through the system, or food stuff through the system, we have to have two muscular layers in order for peristalsis to take place. So we have a circular muscular layer and a longitudinal muscular layer. You'll notice the fibers are coming one way in the circular layer, and they're coming another way in the longitudinal layer. So as peristaltic motion takes place, and we move that chyme or that food stuff through the intestines, we can actually do it by kind of a scooching in, in motion. Okay? Again, we get to the outside layer, the serosa, the adventitia, or the visceral peritoneum. Now this is a general model of the small intestine. We know we're looking at um, the ileum specifically, because here we have an aggregated lymphoid nodule, or a Peyer's patch, which again is part of our lymphatic system. This lymphatic system continues all the way down to the larger vessels that you'll see here in green.